Katie is cleaning out her room. Ryan, can you please not? Kate, I'm really impressed with um, how everything is turning out in here, I have to tell you. Kate, I have no shoes. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. Okay, we yeah. weren't vlogging today, but this content Either, is um, way too good. Alexa, I cannot, God. I cannot please, let this go. Please don't scream, Ryan. I don't know what. I mean, is, they, no, Ryan, they're fantastic. Okay, Ryan, Brennan's sleeping over there because he got home from swim and then water polo practice. We're supposed to go to basketball oh, practice so today at 9 p.m., cool. but fell asleep on the couch. Dad is learning how to fix <coughs> our sump pump, be, or no, our ejector pit because our ejector pit. Poop pump is Our poop pump is broken. <laughs> Katie is cleaning out her room and she's taking me okay, on a shoe so tour. Basically, um, I have no shoes. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. But, what? But think about it. But think about no, it. I, I, really you. I really agree with you. No, no, no. Stop. Stop. You're laughing. Okay, You're I'm sorry. Laughing. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Think about it. What'd you got? How many times am I going to wear Maryland flag flip flops to school? Well, not to How school. How many times am I going to wear. Camouflage Crocs. Dude, how many times am I gonna wear those lace-up heels to school? How many times am I gonna wear those heels to school? Those heels to school. So you suggesting that I will wear them to school? But like, I need everyday shoes to wear to school. And I've been going off of these these shoes that I literally paid ten dollars for at Goodwill. Okay. And those Adidas ones over there that are like literally, I've never seen anything more like flimsy and disgusting than these. And I just like I. Well, have... when we bought them, you liked them. Yeah. I mean, so it's not no, like yeah, we bought it's you not like a, bad yeah, shoes. right. No. Okay. But, and, and then I was so desperate for shoes, I literally bought some at Goodwill. <laughs> Like, who buys shoes that minute. other people have had their feet in? But, oh well, some gosh, people do. Uh, but wait, this is the thing. You make it sound like I wouldn't buy you shoes. You were at Goodwill with your friends, and you saw them, and you liked them, so you bought them. No, Kelly was like, Katie, my, I'm sick, I'm sorry. Kelly was like, Katie, didn't you say you needed yeah, shoes? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, these are 10 bucks. And I was like, might as well spend $10. Will you stop? I was like, might as well spend $10 on some shoes. And so I got like a couple, I got like some months worth of shoes in here. All right, so it was I worth it. I didn't even that annoying. It was worth I can do a line dance right now. Somebody you don't even know what that means for all. Second of all, those are for line dancing. That's for fashion. Can you please get out of them before you break them? Uh, Go with no. your cowboy boots, right? I like them because I feel taller. <laughs> <laughs> Cotton Eye Joe. All right, so Katie, so these are the go away shoes. I'm taller than Katie. I'm taller than Katie. Let's see. <laughs> we have Katie's shoes on. Nice. <laughs> All right, so how many pairs of shoes are we left with? Okay, so. Like, that are mine or? The, the, no, the, the, how many pairs of shoes are you well, left with? Well, are we counting the ones that aren't mine? No. This is like saying no, that's yes, the dress, but with shoes. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to get this done fast. I go to bed. So anyway, so pretty much, um, I'm keeping those. I'm keeping those. I'm keeping those and those and those and those and those. All right. So these those. Kate's never worn before. We did get these for a trip, but that's okay. These are new Christmas shoes. These are where'd you get these? What are these? For? Those are old, old, but those I are love them. Cute so though. I'll never get rid of them. Katie's just favorites. Keep, just cute. They have flats. Cowboy boots, she said those are her favorite. Okay, explain Literally, these again. Over 50% of my shoes are heels. I got these Vans in eighth grade, and every single time I wear them, I get compliments on them. Really? That's so cute. Since You wore them today, as a matter of fact. Since eighth grade, and everybody, I mean like, that's a flex or anything, but everyone seems to like them, so. <laughs> wow, it looks like we just found a perfect solution. Just wear those to school. I literally well, I, I wore the, I literally, shoes. no, no, I literally wore these to school. <laughs> For three, like every day this week. That's totally fine. I don't wear my Ultra Boost literally 99% of the time. Okay, those have seen better days. Literally These have seen better <laughs> literally. days. Literally. Good night, literally. Thank you guys. Shoes love you. Shoes love you. Yeah, you should get Jordans. Jordans. No, I want to get. Right. I designed these shoes on Nike. On Nike, and they look so dude. dope. Do you want to see them? Yeah, sure. Oh, dude, we designed they shoes so for. Uh, uh, we designed shoes for my whole friend group at school. So we made Tanner's ball hog, because he's a ball hog in soccer and basketball. I mean, he's really good at soccer and basketball, but we just call him ball hog. Um, nothing against Tanner. Uh, and then we made 
Uh, TJ's, I don't know what we wrote on. You can put a little writing on We put like a little guy or something. Uh, <laughs> a little guy on TJ? Yeah, but we designed all these shoes and we made bets. Like, if this happens, you have to buy those shoes <gasps> and wear them. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and what does yours look like? Uh, I don't know. I think mine said like 4'11 or something. <laughs> um, you know. Back in the day when you were 4'11. Because we all know now you're 5 feet. No, I'm like 4'11. Imagine I'm thinking like he's taller than me and I'm literally 5'2 and a half. Oh. Imagine that. That'd be crazy. Well, no. um, so I'm kind of trying to... Okay, so take us through, and then we want to see your room because Katie is trying to clean her room, and she's really going down to the I depths. Mean, I don't think we need to see. I'm gonna be up all night. Well, you don't have to. And that's all. Brian, okay. I'll give you five dollars if you can go in that room and pull out two additional pairs of shoes. Wait, really? Yeah. Right. Are there more shoes in there? Probably. Oh. I mean, actually, I don't think so. Uh, and then wearing their feet. All right, there's the boots. All right, you guys, so this is Katie's shoe No, because haul. look at it, ready? No, I don't just, even know what's wait, wait, just wait. One, shoe two, tour. three, four, five, six, seven. You're counting faster than I can record. So there's, oh, eight. Oh. So eight pairs of my shoes are heels, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 pairs of shoes, and eight of them are heels. Oh my goodness. So, so are Bottom you... line is, I need tennis shoes. <laughs> okay, so you're pleading for more shoes, <coughs> or for a pair of shoes. Two, okay. two pairs of shoes. All right, so this is what I wanna know. Why do you call them tennis shoes? Because I grew up calling them sneakers, and I don't understand why people call them tennis shoes. I mean, I kinda go back and forth. What did you call them, Mike? Sneakers. Sneakers. Because they allow you to sneak. Yes, exactly, you can squeak and sneak, exactly. <laughs> but those. you don't play tennis in all those shoes. I don't even play tennis. <coughs> well. Um, they called them tennis shoes in elementary school. PE, so exactly. That's why we call them tennis shoes. I think it's because your PE teacher was an older lady, and like they referred to them as tennis shoes because people don't really have sneakers. Mike, imagine being louder than Mike. He's, he's, he's the, the loudest really guy the loudest I know. Person loudest person I, I know. He's so you loud. Guys are the quietest people I know. <laughs> You're way too quiet. That's complete. That's complete. Because if you've ever been around oh mom for three seconds, you know that she's not quiet either. Oh, yes, I am. <coughs> I mean, I might not talk quiet, but I do things quietly. I sneak around. Ryan, so did you find two you. pairs? Hold on. All right. So are you proud of what you've done in your room so far? I haven't even seen. Well, it has to get worse before it gets better. Okay, that's fair. I get that. So did you take everything out of your closet? Not everything. Okay. Yeah, you saw the um, price, price tag on the bottom. <coughs> Twenty-eight dollars and oh. ninety cents. Cha-ching! Nice. There you go, Kate. And so Katie said they're broken. So what do you mean they're broken? Right, they're not enough. They're kind of dirty. Oh too. yeah, and they're dirty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that one doesn't stand. Oh, well, that's not good. Wah, 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 wah. All right. So you guys, do you want Katie's shoes? I'm sure you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you don't want Katie's shoe shoes. Shoe friend number one. Shoe friend number two. Right, Arno. Ah! For any additional pair that you find. Any additional pair of shoes? Yes. Oh, man. The first one was kind of easy, but the second one was. Where did you find those? He's digging in my bag. Both of those were my track right, bags. Right, right. so I don't know what. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> let's, try to, let's try to double it. Double it? Let's get that. Because the. Oh, sure. One. Yeah. Like, don't Two, have any more pairs three, of shoes, right? Yeah, four. Three. And I'm going to find them. Well Thank you very much, Good sir. Good job. Oh, Excellent. Good. Imagine. <laughs> now, if you can find any mime shoes in there, 50 bucks. Okay, she needs to love you. It's easy to uh, win money around here, Kate. You should have jumped on that. It's my room. I know. And my <coughs> shoes. Never miss it. Good night. Good night. Oh. Okay, no. If he's digging in my stuff. <laughs> Look, Ryan, can you please not grant? No, wait, hold on. Ryan, don't get all the crap out of under my bed, please. No, I'll cut you in on the ten bucks. Ryan, there's no I like. I'll give you two. There's. Shake on it. <laughs> like, no way, he actually found a pair of shoes. I I just. There's no way he actually found a pair of shoes. He just said he found a pair of shoes. Oh, I got one of mom's shoes. Oh. Looky there! <laughs> Thank you! Oh, right. I mean, does How that did that happen? Yes. Do I get $7.50 now? I think you should get half. Why is there shaving cream in my room? Like, in my room. 
I don't know. I, I just don't understand. Hey! Go, 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 I mean, 7.50, man. I think I just it's like an Easter egg, but... Oh, <laughs> awesome. All right, we're going to let Katie finish up. Jack, so, Kate, nice work. Thanks. What? I took... Here's your belt. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, I took all of the bags that were in there. Mm-hmm. And I put... Oh. Look, it's my stool. Oh, that said Katie on it. Yeah, we can't get rid of that. So like, I'm just gonna let it crowd in my room then? Well, no, this is the thing. You can use it to stand up if you need to get something high on your on your closet way up there. This that's, is not high enough to get like me up That's like a there. classic. You can't get rid of that. Well, it's a long, long hard day Actually, of, in the, in the mines of Katie's bed. I don't know. Good night, Ryan. Thanks for helping. I'm happy to help you really quick, quickly, really quickly put everything back if you'd like. No, that's okay because I think I'm just gonna stay up, <laughs> sleep bad. like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna hop on. <laughs> it shouldn't be too, shouldn't be too bad of a sleep. Hey, you want to show what your new clothes you got today? We went shopping today because we're going this weekend to New York City. Uh, Woo! -hoo! So this I've had. Mm-hmm. This. Oh yeah. Is super cute and pretty much it goes like this and then you go like this oh and it's like that i and it love looks that cuter with a normal shirt on <laughs> but it's so soft you guys it's super super soft it's very soft yes and we're going to new york to meet up with our friend katie's friend anna and her mom mimi who are my friends too item number two that is really cute thanks kind of obsessed with it not gonna lie um, hey, you got to, I didn't realize this, but look at it like that. Like you could, I don't know that you would need to wear that underneath but there or not, but it matches. It's that same greeny green color. Well, guys, just in case you want to know some Katie trivia, my favorite brand of clothing is Free People. And I don't know if you guys have that wherever you happen to live, but it's just, I just, I just really like their clothes. So. Is this one? Did we determine is this Free People? No, it's not. No, I don't think any of the things we bought today were Free People except that. This is, and so is this. Oh, yes, that is. Okay, the next one. We thing the is. free. That. This, which is like the black one that I just held up for you guys. I also have a white one. But it goes underneath this. Show how, no, like, it matches. It. It, goes oh, underneath, it goes underneath yeah, that. It goes underneath that. Yeah. How cute. With black jeans. Oh, yeah. And your black booties. Like your. Yo. Yeah, that'd be a cute outfit. Keep um, your eyes peeled if you watch this weekend's vlogs from New York. Then you'll be wearing we these outfits. have. We call it the Mexican shirt. <laughs> I love the Mexican it's shirt. It kind of looks like a mariachi band, right? <laughs> it kind of does. But it's also really cute. This is for people. Oh, wait, we already said that. Yeah, that's very so, cute. So, yeah, it's also really, really comfy. And it feels like my arms are floating when I wear it. And then let me tell you the story about this Patagonia. So, it's like a pat. It's a Patagonia. And, like, these drawers are nice. And they normally, like, this would normally sell for $100. We bought it for $47. Yay! $47. High five. One thing you need to know about Jill Donnelly, she never spends money on anything unless it's on sale. I love a bargain. Literally, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. Actually, that's not true. Yeah, that's not it's, true, it's on but. Occasion. On occasion, you do. Yes, yes, but we but try to, we try time, to shop the sale racks. Most of the time. Are you guys like that? Comment down below. Do you shop sale, sale racks or are you a full price shopper? Putting a shirt in the giveaway. Oh, which one is it? We have a whole giveaway. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm talking about, Ryan. Yeah. Oh my gosh! You know what? I love oh when gosh. Katie goes through her closet. This isn't even yours. It's Coral's. Yeah, but Coral doesn't want it anymore. Oh, I want it. I'm gonna wear I that. Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm taking this sweater. I love this sweater. It's like Are I get to serious? go shopping all at the same time. Are this you sweater? Serious? I'm totally serious. All right, you guys. It's time for me to go to bed. Do you need me to help you, Katie? <laughs> Wait, we're having a good oh, time. Oh, okay. It's gonna be a nice little section right here. Oh, that is nice. What are you going to do? I also tie all my free people bags to my thing mm -hmm. because if I ever need one, I just like pull it and then got the bag out and then it's like right there at my, at, my at your disposal. fingertips. Sure. So, They're really good beach bags too. I think you used one. Yeah, I used this. I used the big one as my beach bag on the cruise and it was amazing. That's awesome. We have a sports bra that's probably been dirty for months. Oh, for Pete's sake. We have. And the problem is this. Okay. So this is the deal. You guys, there is Katie's dirty clothes and it's full but guess why she can't do it 
Because our thing's broken. Also, you can have this. Because Dad too. is fixing the the ejector pit. We talked at the same time. I, I was talking, like not you. So I please stop talking because I was telling them why you can't really clean it because the ejector pit, which Dad called the poop pit, actually is all the water that comes out of the washing washing machine, so you really can't wash. And we're leaving tomorrow, so he has to fix the ejector pit tomorrow, so Katie can clean her clothes before we go to New York. Done. Period. Period. That's adorable. It's like a crap. Yes, we got that in London. I remember. Do you remember that? That's a really expensive store. I know, but I think it was on sale. Was it on it sale? Was <laughs> of course it was. On the sale rack. <laughs> You're like, this is cute. Try it on. I was like, okay. <laughs> All uh, Saints? All Saints. All Saints. Yeah, cool. Is that an American thing too? Like, I don't think so. I think it's just I think England. That's why it was cool. And then didn't Brennan get a bathing suit there? And he got a shirt, a t shirt, a really cool that's t shirt so there. Sick. That's y'all from England. Uh huh. And you shop at All Saints. Comment. This is, this is where I got that. It kind of looks English, doesn't it? It is very British. It's, like, it's it extremely kinda, it's British. Like, wow. Yeah. You're from Britain. So, speaking of Britain, should we talk about the whole Megxit thing or should we just let, leave that alone? Megxit? Yeah. Do you know what that is? March is exiting. <laughs> no. Never mind. I guess we won't talk about it. Wait, it's okay. talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. No, it's um, Megan and Harry exiting the... <gasps> oh, look. It's from Iceland. <gasps> you should use that, Katie. Yeah, I don't think I need to. But okay. I can put it in my bin with all my winter stuff. Your travel bin. So, like, <coughs> blue crab sweatshirt. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. What's the moves with this jar? Uh, you wanted it this summer, so I bought I it for know, you. I know, and I'll wear it again. I'm That's really cute, it. actually. You could wear that to school. It's cute. I could, except the dots are a little much, and I think some people might have a seizure seizure if they look at me. Oh. You know? Yeah, that'd be bad. So I'll just fold it up all nice, like, and put it right there. Okay. Also, this. You gave me this, John. I love that, yes. And I'm not really a fan. Okay, I'll take so it. you can take it back. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, my gosh. Mmm... Another soccer jacket, which I'm pretty sure this is Madison's. Actually, no, I am sure this is Madison's. Can you give That's it back to so her? That's so awkward. I should probably give it back. So here's the thing. That does. Um, I have a lot of clothes that just aren't mine in this here basket. Oh. Including Madison's other shirt. Oh, perfect. Um, oh, my gosh. And one of these is Molly's, I think. Oh, this one. Okay, can you return those to your friends? Oh, these are corals. Oh my gosh! This is also Molly's. Okay, is it possible that all the stuff actually of no way these are gonna fit me? You can, you can give those away. Those aren't gonna fit Coral either. Are they yours? No, but, but no one's gonna fit in them that we know. Okay, so Matt. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! If you have friends that like take your clothes or borrow your clothes and then never give them back, not because they like don't want to give them back. But because you just never get the chance to, and then you end up seeing it on your floor and wearing it just because it's available, <laughs> and then you just keep wearing it, and then you actually end up getting emotionally attached to it, and then you can't <laughs> really give it back. That's me. Got it. Because like it's this like called squatters' no. rights. What? It's called squatters' rights. Hey, P.S. Look at I fixed that for you. I know. Thank you. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Okay. Um. So pretty much this this sweatshirt mm -hmm. that. All of you have seen oh, it a, a gazillion times. times, like literally more times than anyone can count. It's actually my friend Cameron's, and she literally yells at me for wearing it to school every single time. Well, you should give it back Which to is her at least twice a week. No, because it's like it's mine now. Oh, like everyone, this is poor myself. Cameron. No, she she doesn't care. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> You just said she yells at you. Okay, except she doesn't actually yell. She like jokes about it. She's like, oh, my sweatshirt, my sweatshirt, my sweatshirt. Um, also, I had another one of hers. You know, the for Pete's sake golf one? Yes. Then Natalie took it from me, <gasps> and she won't give it back because oh. she claims that it's not mine. Oh, oh, well, okay. Like, it's not even yours. Uh -huh. like, no, give it back. Can she just but give it directly won't. back to Cameron? No, because she wants it for herself. Oh. So if she wants it for herself, then I'm I, like I I deserve to get it back. Do you I know agree. what I'm saying? I totally hear you. Like I took it from her in the first place. Mm -hmm. so, like, I spent the time and the effort to get it from her. So, <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, this is Alyssa's. I should give this back to Alyssa. Yeah, you I? should. Here, do you put it in the basket right over here? Do you guys remember that when <laughs> I yelled at Katie for not cleaning her room? Well, she did clean her room, and that was like three days ago, like and now it's. It was not three days ago. See, it, like, it's really clean and nice. Wait a minute. And I like, bought that for you. I, I, seriously? Like three years ago, Mom. Well, Katie, 
Oh, man. I, you know what the thing is? I keep clothes forever and ever. Like this jacket. Well, because you're an adult now. And and you're kind of plateaued on like where your style is and like what you enjoy. And I am constantly growing and changing. And so <laughs> oh, I need. And you're finicky. That's exactly I what it know is. What finicky, means. finicky means that you like one thing one day and the next day That's you don't like it. That's actually not true. That's actually not true. But on top of that, that was really, really heavy. <laughs> That's why you liked it. You wanted a heavy sweatshirt. I'm not yeah, gonna argue did with I you, really but want, did I say that? Yeah, you did. That's you wanted because the hood was too too fat and heavy. Well, then you cut it this off. This is yours, so it's kind of it's just like I need to Thank you know because it's yes. not mine. I just need to be out of my opinion. I know. Yes, you've given it to me twice now, and I put it um, down. Kate, I'm really impressed with um, how everything is turning out in here. I have to tell you. Thanks. Also, I need to have all my stuff cleaned very soon because we're going to New York, and like I need some of the jeans yeah. that are in there. Okay, I think Dad's gonna try. It. If he fixes the pump tomorrow, tell me what you need clean. I'll throw it in the washer for you. Yeah, all of that. Yeah, absolutely. All right, you guys. This is what her room looks like now, but it is getting much better. We're gonna sign off now because I'm gonna help Kate. You know what's one thing what? that I forgot that we actually kind of needed? What a belt. <laughs> yes, and we even said we needed a black belt. Hey, actually, we got a black belt like tomorrow. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, I love that little belt. That's so cute. I literally think I got that from Justice like years ago. It's so cute. Okay, so we're going to say goodbye. Kate, any, do, any parting words before you leave? Now it's time to say goodbye. Isn't there something about that? Like to that? all our family. Oh, friend. Oh, family, 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 family. M-I-C. That's a cute skirt. Remember that uh -huh. one? Yes, I wore this it's one. Really I wore cute. this one like the third day of school, and I was so surprised that I didn't get dress coded. Mm -hmm. <coughs> mm -hmm. Also, I didn't know. This is so, this is a funny story, actually. I didn't know that there was like an under part to the skirt. Like I didn't know there was like a second layer. You know what oh, I'm saying? Like yeah, the inside yeah, yeah. layer. Mm -hmm. So I literally like went through the whole first half of the day till I went to the bathroom without realizing that like the under, because like the outer part is really flowy yeah. and the under part goes like tighter, but the under part was like stuck above oh. my butt. <laughs> And I literally, like, I feel like I'm getting exposed. Like, I feel like this is way too scandalous. Like, I can't be wearing this. And I go to the bathroom, I'm like, oh. oh, look at that. There's like and I split. literally had Bella walked into school following me, holding my skirt down <laughs> because it was, like, windy. And it was going to, like, blow up and I was going to flash everyone. <laughs> anyway. There you have it. Excellent. All right, Kate. Thanks so much for sharing your closet clean out. Well, you're very welcome. <laughs> It's not completed yet, but I think we got a pretty good idea of what you got going on there. And um, maybe tomorrow, just, if we are lucky, we'll get a chance to see it. All if you, only if you're lucky, though. Only if we're lucky. Or if we remember to vlog it, that's actually really what the truth is. <coughs> All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. We hope, hope you've enjoyed Katie's Closet Cleanout and Shoe Tour. Thumbs up and subscribe. See you later. Hey, that sounds like a good idea. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.